A gathering in West Englewood ends with a barrage of bullets and one person dead. Five others were hurt. Shell casing markers litter the street near 56th and Ada. In all, police sources tell CBS2 at least 200 shots were fired. CBS2 Suzanne Lemonio live for us at Chicago Police Headquarters with the investigation and also the search for the shooter. Suzanne? Joe Marie now while four people were shot and they are in the hospital right now and one person has died. Police right here are telling us that the search for that shooter continues. Police sources say 187 rounds have been recovered at this scene on Ada near 56th in West Englewood. Sources believe at least 200 shots were fired here. Five people were shot. One of them has died. I seen a lot of people hurt, like shot in the leg. A sixth person who was severely beaten is also hospitalized. The call originally came in as a 10-1, meaning an officer needed assistance. Dozens of officers arrived at the scene. Can we get an ambulance over here at 5525? There's somebody down. We're not really sure what's going on. We need more units here, Everybody you've got right now. Video from social media shows the gathering in full swing before shots rang out. It was supposed to be a 4th of July celebration, but it turned into chaos. Chopper 2's camera captured the large amount of firework debris scattered across one intersection. This woman, who asked us not to use her name, says she was injured when trying to run from the scene. I'm just worried about the people that got shot. Did you see any of them or know any of them? Yeah, I know most of them. Tony Davis lives on the block. He says he drove home around 11 last night only to find someone parked in his spot and cars lining Ada and nearby West Garfield Boulevard. Just popping fireworks, doing what young people do. And I politely went down there asking them to move their vehicles out the spot. And uh, most of them comply. The crime scene goes for close to three blocks. Among the bullet markers, remnants of a holiday gathering. There are paper plates, some with food still on them, bottles and cans. Mildred Nichols spent the morning picking up debris. What do you Very think about what happened? It's a shame. It's terrible. Now this afternoon, Superintendent, Interim Superintendent Fred Waller told us that police are working now to figure out if someone inside the group fired shots or if it was someone outside the gathering that fired into the crowd. Again, no arrests so far in this case. At Chicago Police Headquarters, Suzanne LeMignot, CBS2 News. Suzanne, thank you.